In cryptography, the so-called one-time pad is considered to be the most perfectly secure method of sending coded information. As the name suggests, it depends on the single use of a pre-shared key. Suppose we want to encrypt the text Science World by this technique. There are a few different possibilities. Let's start by generating the key using 12 randomly chosen numbers between 1 and 100. Both sender and receiver must have this key to encrypt or decrypt the message. If we assign numbers to letters, for example A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, and so on, we can convert the letters of Science World into numbers. If we then add these numbers to the numbers on the key, one at a time, we get this sequence. In order to encrypt the message, we have to subtract 26 or multiples of 26 if the number is bigger than 26. If we convert these numbers to letters, we get the encrypted form of Science World. As you can see, letters that are the same in Science World appear as different letters in the encrypted form. Also, some of the same letters in the encrypted word are actually different letters in the original message. Now we need to destroy the key to provide perfect security. When the receiver gets the message, they first have to identify the numbers of the letters. Next, they subtract these numbers from the numbers on the key, one at a time. To obtain numbers that are between 1 and 26, 26 or a multiple of 26 has to be added on where necessary. Finally, these numbers are converted back into the original message, the text, Science World. Having performed the decryption, the receiver destroys the key. If we wanted to encrypt the text Science World again, the encrypted message would be completely different because a different key would have to be used. Another approach is to start by generating the key, and notice the key must be at least the same length as the message that will be encrypted. So let's generate a key. For the text Science World, we could generate a key such as this. In a computer, every character has to be represented by ones and zeros, known as bits, eight bits for each character. In the case of Science World, the bit values are as follows. And the bit values of the key are. Now we can carry out the exclusive OR, XOR logical operation because all the numbers consist of ones and zeros. In our example, the bitwise XOR operation is very simple. If two inputs are different, the output is 1. And if the inputs are the same, the output is 0. The rules are like those of a magnet. Similar poles repel, opposite poles attract. Let's do the XOR operations. Finally, using the ASCII table, the message Science World has been converted to this string. In the ASCII table, some values don't have visual signs. The encrypted message can be sent as a string only if all the characters make sense. It can also be sent as binary or, if we want it to be shorter, as hexadecimal. Let's say we send our message in hexadecimal. When the receiver gets the message then, all hexadecimal values will have to be converted into binary.
it's vital that the following rules are followed. The key must be truly random. Some algorithms generate random characters or numbers in a repeated pattern. The key must be at least as long as the message length. The key must never be reused in whole or in part. And the key must be destroyed after encryption or decryption. If these conditions are met, all encrypted communication using the one-time pad method is impossible to crack.